Hey guys, and welcome back to Outlast. When we last left off, we uh, kind of had a little bit of therapy and ran into a um, questionably friendly cannibal who seemed to let us wander on by. So let's keep going. Oh. Hmm. I'm coming! Hold on! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Crematorium, eh? Ooh. That sounds like something we need to have a look at. Alright, Waylon. Let's keep going. We need keys to unlock the handcuffs. Although, if we actually look at this... Surely... No, I was going to say, sh I mean, can we not just break that off? Uh, well, all right. All right, Waylon, let's go find ourselves some keys. Ooh. Sounds like... Oh! Oh, dear. I guess... The cannibal is not quite the friendly man I was hoping he would be. Oh, this looks familiar, doesn't it? No, 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 Mr. Cannibal. If you could just uh, let me slink on by. I would appreciate it. I'm just passing through. If you could go back to your lover chap, I would be... Um, Quite happy for you two, actually. If I'm being honest. Hello. Oh, you dickhead. Alright, yes, yes, yes. I guess you found me. Come on then, let's play Kiss Chase. You ain't getting my arse, though. At least, I hope you're not getting my ass. Ah, fuck. Shit. Uh, hey, pal. Up and over. Ass cakes. Bollocks. Shit. Open the door. Door's locked. Because, of course it is. Oh, dear. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come get me. There we go. Hey, I am not just a piece of meat. I am a strong, independent man, I'll have you know. You will address me by my title of Waylon Parker. Uh oh. Um. Oh, hello. Um. I have no idea what's going on here. Have we really managed to hide here? Yes, we have. Sneak, 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 sneak. Can we shut the door? That will probably make noise. Aha! Aha! Fuck you, buddy. Right. Well... One thing that is a little bit obnoxious is the music. Uh, uh, we can't actually turn the music down, can we? Because the music is so deafeningly loud, you can't actually hear him. Which I would say is poor game design. In fact, I don't think this music kind of really fits, to be honest. But what do I know? I guess. Oh. Right, up and over. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, pal. Yeah, I got a few itches and scratches and cuts. Well, you... I... 
Do you now? Yeah, sure. Alright. I'm not scared. Go ahead. Take take all the time you in the world you need. You're just repeating yourself now, sir. I'm going to leave you here. I'm glad you have an itch. I don't really want to discuss your itch. You uh, go sit in the corner and think about what you're, what you're trying to tell me. Classified? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think our friend is back. Ooh. Handcuff key. Well, that's quite nice. You're going to follow me all over the bloody place, aren't you? Yeah, we've already discussed your bloody secret, mate. And I keep telling you, I, I really don't care about your itch. In fact, I don't even want to think about where you're itching. If you want me to be perfectly honest. Ooh, hello. Right, notes. The cannibal's kitchen. Don't ask... Oh. Don't ask to see my body, Lisa. When I die... Oh, we didn't read this. Did we? When you finish the lawsuit that let you pry into this footage from Murkoff's army of lawyers and corporate hitmen, don't make them show you my body. Just bury it or burn it. Let my sons remember me whole. That man is eating human flesh. He looks at, it, at me and I see anger. A little desire. But more than anything, hunger. Please don't make them show you my body. Yeah, probably is for the best, to be honest. Um, you know, so we've got the handcuff key, finally. I say finally. Wasn't that, wasn't that bad to find? Gender selection in Mount Missive contractors. Um, from note, all material herein to be transcribed according to Form 4083 with forensic uh, revisions, uh, benefits, ongoing lawsuit, blah, blah, blah. Ethan, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, notes. This is a request for specific legal consultation in the ongoing lawsuit by Melissa Chow against Murkoff Charitable. <laughs> Charitable. <laughs> Uh, Psychiatry Inc. Uh, USA, originally filed in 2010. At the time of Mrs. Chell's um, termination. Termination? What do they mean? Was she fired or <laughs> something worse? The psychosomatic effects of the morphogenic energy, uh, engine on female employees and patients had been well established. Already more than seven female employees and patients had reached fictitious half-term pregnancies in a matter of weeks before miscarrying uh, the non-existent children, five of them fatally. Hell. Female employees were moved to higher floors in the facility, then to other buildings, and eventually entirely off the Mount Missive facility. Oh. Okay. The critical secrecy of Project Wall Rider uh, necessitated the secrecy in moving in uh, the secrecy in the motivating factor for the reassignment and the terminations, resulting in perceived injustice for several terminated parties. Mrs. Chow had succeeded in acquiring a court-ordered FOIA release of the documents surrounding her termination. Those documents will need to be generated and post-dated, providing um, amalgamating information whilst skirting the relevant secrecies of the project. Please advise. Okay. So, okay, so the psychosomatic effects. So female employees and patients Okay, so they weren't necessarily being experimented on. It's just the psychosomatic, um, how, how, how would you say it? Kind of like infection, if you will, that kind of travels around. So that will explain why there's no females and whatnot in this game. Because they think they're all pregnant. 
guy. See. Alright. Well, that is kind of an un unwanted uh, side effect, I, I guess. Okay. Ooh. Hello. I am not yours, mate, alright? You can go suck a cock. A big fat one. In fact, you'd probably enjoy that. So, we're not going to think about that too much. Ooh. Hello there, buddy. Yeah, it looks so good. Oh, well. We can't cry for everybody. So we shall cry for no one. God damn, it's so dark. Uh, you know, as much as I do enjoy this game, and I do enjoy this game quite a lot, I don't like the battery mechanics still. It's rubbish. It doesn't add any tension to me. It, you know, I'm not scared of the dark. It's just, it's just frustrating. Guess who's back? Back again. Are you, are you coming, or are you just trying to scare us a little bit? What did that do? Oh, I guess we can push all of these. Alright. Is there anything good in any of these? Oh, shit, that actually did make me jump. Well done. Hey, pal. Um, I would rather it wasn't. Are we supposed to be resisting this somehow? Oh dear. Yes, boss. Uh, I'd rather I didn't. Shit. Uh, yeah. That's a, a wonderful idea. We're now being roasted alive. And this chap's first instincts are to grab his camera and film the whole thing. Uh huh. Yeah, well, I like being mine, I'm gonna be honest. The only person that gets to eat me is me. Not that that really sounds that appetizing, I'm gonna be honest. Now, if I was a battery, where would I be? I'll settle for a document. I'm getting the feeling that this gentleman is going to be chasing us for a large portion of this game. I mean, that's not very friendly of him, roasting us alive and all. In fact, it's supposed to be one of the, the worst ways to go. If not the worst, apparently. Well, there's the exit. If you guessed that that was going to be locked and we're not going to be able to exit through there, you'd... Oh, hello. You'd probably be right. Uh, documents. Re... Uh, re... Resignation of Wayland Park. Mrs. Grant, you may receive requests... Hang on. Yeah, we really got... Ah. God and family. Oh, dear. Father Clark, far be it from me to lie to a man of God. <laughs> why? Maybe, why does that even matter? Like, if you're going to bullshit someone, what does it matter if they listen to a mysterious fairy sky god? You know, or sky fairy, I guess. Yes. Um, so, let me at least say that I will do my personal best to improve the safety of your working conditions. <laughs> okay. Well, that's... That's nice of him. I and the rest of your staff truly appreciate everything you do for our patients. Which is what exactly? Sell them false hope. False hope. 
um, for our patients. And if you feel threatened by anybody in particular, simply let us know. and We can either increase chemical uh, restraints or administer a lobotomy or similar calming procedures. Don't underestimate the contributions your sermons offer to our patients, especially considering the depth and necessity uh, necessarily chaotic nature of hypnotherapy. Our patients need the bedrocks of a god and family. Not all of our poor unfortunates have families to call upon. And so the burden and calling is yours. We, uh, we are all of us relying on your faith and hard work. My reading's going to shit. I'm actually getting really, really tired. Maybe this game is uh, affecting me subliminally. Well, I do have a rather large bucket of coffee here. I'm not going to even call this thing a mug anymore. It's basically a bucket. Ah. It's a shame the stimulating effects of uh, coffee haven't really affected me for years. Right, okay, so the house of God. That is why there is a church here. To sell these poor souls lies. And uh, to control the population, which, you know, religion is used a lot to control the population. Oh, I guess that is indeed locked. Well. Oh. Nope. We're going to have to use some more batteries, aren't we? Well, that is... That kind of looks like... False wall. I really don't want to have to go back the way we came. Can we, like, push this? Is there a secret button? Oh, we don't really even need this, to be fair. Um... Arse. Okay, well... Oh, hello. Right there, buddy. You had a bit of a bad time, didn't you? Let's get some fresh batteries. Can we go through here? Nope. Ooh. What is burning? The fire appears to be going through the uh, the wall there. But, uh, oh. Never mind. I think our friend is having a little bit of a breakdown. He was so ready for a tasty treat so ready but sadly he was denied Ooh. oh hello we're ascending to the heavens I guess we have just uh, come from hell okay oh, lovely up and Adam. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. There we go. Ooh. What's the betting we're going to fall on our heads? And crack our soft, vulnerable brains. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Billy. Billy. Okay, that was rubbish. Billy. Please... Don't do anything to me. Okay, we should be brothers or something. Torture buddies. Yes, torture buddies. Now, there's a marketable term. Ooh. Up, up. There we are. Ugh. Okay. Do we really have to slink all the way around here again? Well, I suppose this is an excellent opportunity to drink more coffee. I support this. Ah, lovely. Okay, so, ooh. Ah, here we go. We were trying to run before we could walk. Oh, someone's been sleeping here. And I'm guessing that's where batteries can spawn. Well, let's go. Ooh. Ooh, batteries. Damn it. How? No. I want the battery. 
How do I get... How? He's not even going to try and open the door. Dick. Well, maybe we can go around. No, I, I guess we can't. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's go around and see if we can get the battery. Do you reckon there's going to be a jump scare here? Mm-hmm. Is there? No. Okay. That surprised me. I was almost definitely expecting a jump scare. Oh, oh. Guess who's back? Back again. Mr. Saw. Tell a friend. Well, at least he's somewhere playing with the saw anyway. Somewhere. There's nowhere we can go in here. Calm down, Waylon. Calm down, buddy. I guess we're not going this way. Hey, buddy. Oh, well. There's plenty of meat over there, matey. Lots and lots of juicy, fresh, warm meat. So have at it, I say, sir. And leave me the hell alone. I'm all tough and stringy and, you know, lots of cartilage and, and things. Oh, but look, mate, I've just told you, okay? I'm not exactly a choice cut of premium eating. But will you listen? Oh, no, 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 no. You think you know what's best. Um, uh oh. Ouch, that was my face. Well, at least if he's cutting us up, that's weight reduction. Fuck you, buddy. You're going to take my soul. Well, I'm Ginger. So I can confirm I don't have one. According to South Park. Ah. <sighs> you gone? I can't hear this guy because this music is so... Overpoweringly loud. But I can hear his saw. I hope your damn battery runs out. Oh, how I would laugh. Where the hell is this guy? He's probably right where we need to be. Oi! Prick! Where are ya? Well that sounds like he's behind us. Which would be fine. The bloody batteries are almost out already. Oh, there he is. Alright, me little darling. Me little plum. Really? All the stinking places you could go. You have to come in here. Now, if you could kindly go up the corridor. No, that would have been too much to ask for, wouldn't it? That would have been too bloody much to ask for. Oh, you are an asshole, sir. Oh, for God's sakes. God damn it. All right, run, run. I said run. You know, the moving of the quickness of the legs. You're a dull boy, Waylon. Uh-oh. 
Come on. Oh, 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 he's a quick one. <laughs> Come get me, big boy. Come get me. Eat my dust. Probably fucking would as well, you pervert. And I can't see shit because our batteries have run out. You can find another way if you like. Oh, God damn it! Because our batteries ran out, I've completely lost where I am. Shit. Bollocks. I think we are in a different room. Well... You know, the whole sprinting around does work pretty w Oh, hello! Hey, birdie! Am I just running back? No, this is the way we need to go, I think. I think. Ah, shit. No, that's fine. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Fuck you, guy. Fuck you. Dick. Alright, well, what have we got here then? Ooh. Ooh. Now you see. Now. Hey, you carry on, mate. You, you, you jog on with that. Don't mind if I watch and enjoy it for a minute, do you? Lisa, or whoever finds this, know that Murkoff is making monsters. I'd never seen the patients after they'd gone through that German so-called therapy. The engine's so much worse than I could have imagined. They may still be human, but something's been ripped out of them. And too many other things pushed back in. They were not all murderers. They were sick, but they weren't killers. Murkoff made them monsters. Dr. Rosett said the engine had varying effects on the oh, the variation or the variant outcomes too erratic for any sort of prediction i took it as if idle cafeteria small talk uh pulls endless chatter i should have listened hmm. well you're doing some good work there buddy How's that taste, mate? How's that taste? Good man. You know, it's hard to feel sorry for these guys. They're kind of getting what they deserve, really. I support this wanton murder. Now, hopefully Mr... Mr. Slicey going to stay away. Oh, well. I could do that. I could do that. But I'd rather just watch you die. I'm more concerned over what appeared to just rip you off that, to be honest. You know, you're not going to get any humanity from me. These damn doctors. I mean, honestly, do they really expect me to treat them as if they're human? I think not. Uh, what was this one called? Lesser known ecological aspects of humanity. Ooh. Influencing human behavior. The potential use for psycho, uh, psychochemicals in political actions, uh, action operations is well recognized, although it has not been explored as thoroughly as might be expected. Chemical division includes uh, it as an objective of its program to prepare to support or make such operations possible. 
Non-chemical methods of accomplishing the political action operations are also included in the program. Note, J. Lawyer, April 15th, 1958. Um, present, I'll present the mo uh, above MK Ultra except to Technical Services Division for budgeting and authorization of continued research into research of Dr. Rudolf Wernicke. Oh, yeah, Wernicke. Asset 14866 and Project Wall Rider. Autopsy of recovered test subjects shows chemical content of bodies, metallic tumours, evidence of subdermal combustion, and uh, that indicates heavy psychochemical dosage. Oh, so that's why the tumours uh, were coming about, because of psychochemical dos dosage? Or... Were their bodies producing them? Hmm. I guess we may never know. Anyway, let's continue. Oh. Oh, guess who's back? Back again with his sword. Hello. Tell a friend. Hey, right, buddy. There's a madman coming with a saw. Oh. Unless that was just you smashing your head. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. You can do that. Be my guest. Oh, you are making a heck of a racket with that. Too much racket, really. You're giving me as much of a headache as, uh, as yourself. Oh. Okay. Anyone home? Better yet, does anyone have any batteries? Oh, we cannot push the button. I'm assuming that's not room service. Or if it is room service, it's not the good kind of room service. You know, the kind that would bring you up a pot of coffee. Probably would bring you a lobotomy. Which would be rather unfortunate. Oh, hello. <coughs> Where does this go? Nowhere, apparently. I guess that's a hidey hole. I'm assuming we're going to have company. And the bad kind of company, not the good kind of company. Yeah, there's lots of hidey holes here. And our batteries are almost gone again. Because of course they are. Anyone here? I thought I heard him then. I guess not. Well, we do know one of the rooms was calling for room service. I'm assuming it's that one. Hello! Can you now? What do, oh god, hello. I hope I smell good. Ah, oh, shit. Really? Bollocks. Come on. Can we really not jump up there? No, I guess, I guess not. Hang on, he couldn't cut his way through there, even though he has... You know what, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. The guy has a saw blade. Maybe he's not that smart. I, mean, I guess we know he's not that smart. But still. We really need to find a safe spot as well. God damn it, he's in here somewhere, isn't he? 
Oh. That is a religious man's room. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to leave it here. When we come back, we're going to continue exploring and finding how to turn off this valve. And hopefully Mr. Sawblade uh, is not going to split us up too badly. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.